So here's a little trick to help you work around the limitations of Blender's 3D view grid because it doesn't change the subdivisions depending on the settings that you use. First, place a primitive object into the scene that's going to represent your grid. In this instance, we're using the default 3D cube. Position it relative to the active grid. Resize or rescale so it fits inside the major grid unit you're trying to subdivide and then reposition relative to the origin point. In this instance, the cube is positioned to occupy one grid unit. In Object Properties, enable Wire and Draw All Edges. Then switch the Maximum Draw Type to Wire. This turns the cube into a wireframe. Then all that needs to be done is to subdivide the mesh using Loop Cuts, Subdivide, or the subdivide modifier. The number of loop cuts and their position will define the grid. To make the reference easier to use, a number of sides can be removed by selecting them in edit mode and then deleting them or separating them to a different object for use later. This produces an object that now has an X, Y and Z grid reference floor that acts as minor subdivisions within the major subdivisions of the default grid. To use this object as a grid snapping guide, just use Control, Shift and perform an action to snap to the increments indicated by the wireframe mesh, obviously subject to the subdivisions used.